guys. So we have a, it's not a cook with us. It's more of I am spilling the beans on how I make my spaghetti. Yes, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I use to make my spaghetti. So the noodles are already boiling. So that means you got to keep on watching. A long time. What about the time? Did I cook it in, in the apartment? Mm, no. I think yeah, I think we, we either use shell or I don't know. Okay, so yeah. So what I use for this, I love Prego, they low sodium. I use the, the low sodium because I do not like salty foods. So you can use whatever you like. It's up to you. And I also, with the meat, I use ground turkey. So, I just, oh, I should have used the bigger one. And now that I look at this, I, I should have used the bigger dish. So, we mix that up. See if you can, let me see this. Can you get it? Yeah, I probably should have used the bigger one. Okay, so hold on a second. We're going to transfer this to the bigger dish. All right, so we went ahead and transferred it over to the bigger dish. I should have did that in the first place, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, pop the sauce in there, which I told you I like to use the low sodium. So we'll pop that in there. Okay, I might have to grab the second one too. Oh! <laughs> Give this a little mix. Okay. Oh, and I told y'all I'm a recycle queen. I like to recycle my jars and use them for like um uh vases and things like that. <laughs> Alright, so I have to go ahead and grab the second one as well. Let me clean this up. I got sauce on. Okay, so let's pop our second one in. Oh, yeah. This already looks so good. Just want to keep it. Okay. So let's stir this up. That looks like a lot of sauce. It does, but it's going to be even more saucy because I have another special ingredient. That I love to put in my spaghetti. No, no, don't tell me yet because I want to season it first. Okay, so the seasonings that I use is garlic powder. I love garlic, so I just go to town. It ain't too, it ain't a such thing as too much. Well, I mean, I guess it's a such thing as too much garlic. I love garlic. You could put too much garlic in there and have a garlicky taste, but I love garlic. So you do this, you know, it's up to you. Onion powder, go to town. Mm -hmm. I, I love onion powder. So I go to town on that. Mix it up good. Here, use this. And then, right. And then, mm -hmm. all right. So sit there to the side. Mm -hmm. And then I use Italian seasoning. I'm going to go to town on Italian seasoning. No. Huh? Oh. Oh, we're not going to go to town on black pepper because it'll be too spicy. Ooh, yeah. So we're going to go to town on Italian seasoning. Okay. okay. So we'll mix that up. Mix it up good. Yeah. 
all incorporated. Okay, so I think I did. I, I think I did say I do not add salt because again, to me, I just don't. I don't add salt to my meat as well. I don't like salty foods. If I can taste the salt, it's just it's too much because the last ingredient that we're gonna use it contains salt. So it's like the salt is coming from. Let me see how much. It's low sodium, so. And this particular one, it is, it's 360 milligrams of sodium, so I use two. So add that together, and to me that's plenty. And then one more special ingredient, so I'm going to put a little black pepper, not too much. That's good. Alright, let me mix it. Okay, so mix it up. Hey, you can start cutting the cheese if you want. Did I bring a knife over? Yeah, I did. Okay. I should have got more cheese, but it's all right. Yeah. Oh, here got a knife. Cheese? Yeah, I cut it. <laughs> As I said, I should have got my old because I and ate the cheese. All right. So that's why I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. Normally, we take the Parmesan cheese and we just put it on. Like, once we get the, uh, everything get cooked and everything, we just put it on afterwards. But, let me show you the last ingredient that I absolutely love to do. Ready? Five, four, four three, three, two, one! Ta-da! Ketchup, yes! I don't know if anybody else does this, but I tried it. No, what happened was, I tried somebody's spaghetti, and I'm like, it is a taste in here. And I couldn't understand, I never asked them, but I couldn't understand, like, what is that taste? And one day I was like, I'm about to try some ketchup in my spaghetti. And I tasted it, I was like, that's what it is. So ketchup inside a spaghetti is good. I don't know, like, it's like the ketchup just, I don't know. It just gives it a um to it or something. I don't know. So that's why I do not add salt because the um all of the other sauces have the sodium in it. And it, just, it will just be too much. So that's why I don't add uh, salt in my meat. This reminds me of, um, not spaghetti, but like, huh, uh, cheeseburger or something. Alright, we, we want our cheese in squares. Here, cut that in half. And then we'll just pop that on there. It ain't gonna be that cheesy because I should have bought more cheese. And they just pop them in there. Let me have one. I love cheese. Mmm. Mm. Love cheese. So okay. That's how my mom used to do it when we were younger. She would just take blocks of cheese and cut it up in there and just pop the cheese up in there. Yeah. Hey, she, you can use shredded cheese, but quick! <laughs> But I like, um, I think the blocks of cheese, could you just get a block of melted cheese in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do, the Parmesan cheese, I think I'm going to go ahead and try it. I never tried it this way, to put it on top and then bake it in the oven. But I'm going smells, smells mm -hmm. to so, so try to, I'm going I'm to see how this turn out. I don't know how it's going to turn out because I've never done it like this. Whoa. But it would be nice if it was probably... Okay, so we're going to try this and see how this turned out and bake it. Hopefully it turned out good. Maybe I should have put a little bit on one little corner. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it. That is spilling the beans on how I make spaghetti in our home. So, that being said, we thank you guys for coming into our home. We thank you guys for watching us. If you'd like to see more of my beautiful daughter, Aubrey, and, Mama. and Mommy, Make sure you guys come back and join us in our home and make sure you hit the notification bell as well. That way you will get notified when we upload a cook with us video or a DIY. Who knows? You don't even know what may come out of our home. So guys, we thank you. Be blessed. Peace out.